Hey everybody, Sue here from OML Embroidery and OMLpatches.com. We're ready to do another quick tip video. I just wanted to say hi and welcome to it. Please take note of the TARDIS in the background. That's cool. That's our closet. I'm just saying. Anyways, welcome. Enjoy the quick tip. Let's get started. Thanks. Brought to you by OML Patches, OMLEmbroidery.com, sorry, and as always, sponsored by OMLPatches.com. So uh, today we are going to do a quick tip video, and in these quick tip videos I'm going to be showing you just little things, little shortcuts they basically are, um, which once you get used to using them, they tend to help out quite a bit. So you can watch the different quick tip ones and uh, pick up everything you can put it all together and move along with your digitizing. So today the quick tip is automatic outlining, which is a, a wonderful thing to do instead of, uh, it saves you a lot of steps. So instead of, you know, you make a circle and you want an outline, you have to make the circle and make it match and set it up. You can do it in a couple of easy steps. So um, I am in studio because that's where you do most of your digitizing. That's where all your digitizing tools are and all that. So we're going to do a solid. So I'm going to click on that. And it, we're just going to do it in fill stitch, but I want to do a nice circle. So I'm going to click, you put down your point, of course, when you're using shapes, you put down your point, and then you click up here on shape, and then we're just going to do a circle, and then you click and drag it out to about the shape that you want. That'll do. And then you let go, and then you right click anywhere on it and you send it to elements and you can change all your parameters if you want. For now we're just going to leave it so let's generate it. So to if you wanted to do an outline and you didn't know the shortcut you would have to go through all that again except for you first pick the outline tool and then you'd have to position it and do everything. It's not that bad, but if there's a faster way, you might as well do the faster way. So it's up here under Transform, and you go right down and it's called Auto Outliner. How awesome is that? So click on that, and it's gonna do it all automatically for you. So it says, Outline Elements Created Successfully. Do you want to arrange them into a compact outline now? So it's, that's just asking, do you want everything put in one? And the answer is yes. And then, do you want to use connections if there are any separate objects? And I'm going to answer yes. There's only one object. So here it is right here. And it made it all for you. And you can see that it's highlighted and it fits properly. Why don't we change a color? And let's make this red so that this will stand out more. So if we click off, you can see, look, it's perfect. And I love perfection in embroidery. So, okay, that's just a single stitch. Um, let's look at it in 3D. You can see it. Um, if you want something more, all you have to do is right click, parameters, and then you have all your regular parameters for the outline stitches. So you can make it into sketch, put it to apply, and that makes it um, a bit thicker. Looks good. Uh, satin stitches. Now that's absolutely perfect. It fits perfectly. It does everything that you want. You could do applique. Um, and you can actually mess around with the, oh wait, we can do sample stitches too, forgot about that, working my way down. So you could just play around with the stitches, do apply. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. That might have a, a nice effect on something. Let's try this one. Oh, I like that one too. Let's try this. Yeah, that's kind of cool too, triangle. Um, you can go through, obviously there's quite a few of them, um, but that's a quick effect and I think it looks great and it's, like I said before, it's absolutely perfect and I like that. Look how pretty that is. Look at how pretty that is. That's awesome. So, okay, moving down, we did satin and you can make your adjustments in the satin stitches if you want applique. How about border? Does anyone ever use border? You should because they're, it's really cool. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Change the colors, obviously. You can change the outline here so we could make it blue and then always click apply. Or let's make it a contrasting, but a bit 
nicer of a contrast apply. Look at that. That would take so long to digitize. And right there, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So one of my favorites is the rope. I use it all the time. Let's try carved. See, that's even nice too. That, that kind of kicks up your embroidery just a little bit. Makes it a little fancier. Stamp, that's okay. Layered. Okay, well, that one, well, did it or did it not work out? I, I'm going to say no. <laughs> Just no. How about some more leaves? Yeah, no, I don't really like that one. I, I guess you could use it for a different effect. Let's try different leaves. Yeah, see, that's kind of groovy, too. That's that's neat, I guess, if the leaves were a different color. But anyways, you can see how you can do an auto outline quickly and easily, and you can do different things. Oh, see, that's a nice effect. You can do different things with it simply by clicking a couple buttons. It's a really good shortcut. Now, doesn't that look nice? I really like that. You could put a name in there, and you could put two parts out here, and it's almost like one of those um, ribbons. So that's how you do that. That's the Embroidery Embered Quick Tip of the Week. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Um, I would like to encourage everyone to post comments and questions. We're trying to get some involvement. My goal is to be the number one embroidery teacher and I want participation. I love making the videos. I love teaching. Um, but we need you to participate. So what we need you to do, comment. Um, we need you to like the videos and we need more subscribers. The more we have of those things, the more videos I can make. Um, we get different things on YouTube and the more popular it goes out and everything. Remember, you're getting the videos for free. And I think I've heard from many, many people that they're helping out a lot. So you guys help me back and subscribe to the channel the channel, add to the playlist, do all that. It's easy. It takes like, what, 10 seconds to do all those things and pass the videos around so we can be super popular and keep this going. Um, we also, if uh, you don't know yet, we also are doing um, classes. And what we're doing, these are quick tip videos, so they're short 10, 15 minute videos. That's what they're going to be. In the classes, we're taking everything more in depth. And it's a classroom-like setting, and it's fantastic. So I will teach something. Um, right now we're working on beginner classes, so it's basically an introduction to uh, Embird, and we're going through everything, and it's in-depth, it's everything. By the time you get done this part of the course, you should be very comfortable working in Embird. And then we're going to move on to studio, and we're going to digitize things, and it's not one-on-one, -on -one, but the classes are limited to 25, and there's 15, 20 minutes or longer if it takes for questions. So if you have questions, sign up for the classes. You can get links to the classes at omlembroidery.com and you can do the classes and you can do these quick tip videos or longer videos and it should help you right along. Anyways, don't forget to like and share and subscribe. Um, thanks again for watching. Happy digitizing and remember, keep calm and digitize on. Thank you.